What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Bench Talk. As y'all can see, I love bench. I love doing bench. I think it's my number one exercise. Uh, sorry, I just had some uh, some chef's jerky. Some of that good beef jerky right there. Some bison jerky too, right there. Anyways, um, so I'm gonna be doing a little series for y'all. Let me turn this ice one down. Look at this shit, man. Do a little series for y'all that uh, deals with benching, how to get your bench up, how I got to 500 uh, and above uh, for bench. And um, uh, let's get you focused real quick. Sorry, guys. And uh, basically kind of help you who are struggling getting the bench strength up to get it up. So you see right now, I'm starting with rack, rack press. Um, every time I rest it on the bar, really explosive push. Just try to just go as fast as you can with a strong lockout, um, which is what it's really for, you know, for a good, it takes out that band effect with your muscles. You know, your muscles are like a band. The more you're going this way, the stronger you go the opposite way, you know, boom, you know, you know, like that, you know, you're doing this, it's like you're, you're stretching out a band and then you let go, it's going to force back up. So that's, that's the, that's what we're taking out basically. You're already coming at a point to where you can't have that extra help throughout your muscles. So this just comes out to be honestly pure strength. And uh, you go lower as time goes on. So you'll see me, you see me right now, I'm working, um, working with 405 right now. I'm gonna work up to, I believe, 425. I think I just go up to 425. Um, and uh, let me get this out of the way. Uh, once again, 800 likes. I released a full workout. It's really a simple workout, to be honest. Like, you know, when I'm going for strength, and it's a focus, it's a strength focused uh, routine. I really don't do much else, but a few certain things, and then, um, and then that's it. It's, it's not something that's going to sh that should take you like more than an hour. To be totally honest with you, it shouldn't take you more than an hour. Probably it shouldn't even take you more than 40 minutes, to be honest. Um, I was in and out the gym just like that. Came in, did did what I needed to do, and got out, which how most of the time it should be. Um, my rest time was about, between these sets, my rest time was about a minute, um, probably. And you're gonna take that longer rest time when you have to deal with strength, uh, get that, but there's CNS level, you know, CNS for those, it's central nervous system. Um, you know, calm down, um, but I mean, with this, I'm just fried. Like right now, I'm doing a drop set. I'm doing a drop set from 425. Right, so I think, I think I got two reps first. Got 405 for one rep, I think that was. And then, you know, I'm dropping down from that. And this was totally, it was just, let me just watch. Like, it's a grind. It's a grind, and you have to, you have to grind. You have to, you have to, you really have to test your strength, not only your strength, but your endurance with your strength. You can come in and rep, you know, that one rep max, all right, but, you come in rep heavy, and you you deal you know you deload from that, you drop set from that from that heavy set. You're going to grow. You're going to get stronger because not only did you just you you just work your way up to that, you're working your way down from that as well, and you're building that endurance, that muscular endurance that you need to just tap into when you're at that mid rep, and you feel like you know all hope is lost, and all of a sudden you're like. Oh, oh, a kadoosh, yeah, motherfucker. You know, like that. <laughs> like you've seen a video of me and Matt, and he was um, spotting me, and I, and I had a rep like that where like midway, I just started to really slow down, and then I just kept fighting it, kept fighting it, kept fighting it, and then I just I just finished the set, and I think that was like five, five, ten, uh, when he spotted me. So um, this is, like I said, this is something, um, I'm gonna be showing you guys weekly. Uh, so definitely stay tuned, definitely share the video. Uh, like the videos, you know, like I said, 800 likes. Now, see, we got 1,000 likes in the last video, I asked for likes, and you know, it's gonna be like 800 now, it's gonna be the minimum, and then I'll release, the, I'll release it for you, and I'll keep doing it. As long as it keeps being continuous, I'll keep doing it, guys, you know? I know somebody was like, don't punish your, your, your viewers, and I'm like, I'm not trying to punish you guys. I'm not punishing you at all. I just think it's, you know, fair. I think it's the opposite. I think I feel like I'm being punished. 
See, so I finished the uh, drop set with uh, explosive push-ups, you know, as much as I can do. I think I only got like four or five reps, and I was like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> I thought that last one was going to be a B1. It was like, yeah. And then we can switch on to unilateral movements, so uh, single arm, um, dumbbell incline. All right, so we're focusing on the core, and we're focusing on single arm strength, um, the uh, balance and development, basically. And we always want balance and uh, development when we're doing our routines. But uh, yeah, back to what I was saying about the lights. You know, I feel like, you know, I, I come in, I do my, I get up five o'clock in the morning or whatever, do my gym stuff. And you know, mind you, doing this video stuff honestly hurts my, my workouts. It's hard to do these videos and focus on my workouts without having to figure out right, when we want to set the camera or where it's going to be or blah, 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 or talk to my cameraman and stuff like that. Um, so it's, it's tough. So, you know, I'm like, all right, you know, I just asked for a like and a share, you know, and that's really it. I'm not trying to be a baby about it, to be honest. I'm, I'm really not. That, I'm just, I'm, I'm leaving it at that. So we went to flies. Now, these flies, what you really can't see right now is these are arm rotation flies. So I come out like a fly and then I come in like a press. And what we're gonna do, we're just really, once again, this is that conditioning part of, honestly, I, I put this in the conditioning category of my chest routine. And, um, um, what was I gonna say? It's all about getting that that, that long stretch. I want, I want a good stretch in the chest, and I want a good pump as well. Okay, like pump press, press. We're gonna call it a pump press. Get a pump press. And uh, I'll, tell, I'll go ahead and say, you know, it was about 20 reps. Um, it was, uh, this, that was a high set and, um, that's really everything with this exercise. Um, I did a little bit more things with the medicine ball. I did some wall press, um, to start out the workout to warm up, but you've seen me do that before. Um, you know, the wall press, you get on your knees, you no know, homo, you get on your knees, pay the medicine ball, you're towards the wall and you just boom, boom. Boom, boom, activate those fast switch muscles. That's something you should definitely incorporate before your workouts, um, just to warm up. And then it'll definitely, I feel like it, it really helps um, activate those fast switch muscles when it comes to, especially when you wanna max out, or when I'm about to go do the 225 test. Um, 46 reps, which is my best, <laughs> just to throw that out there. But yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. I uh, know it wasn't much to talk, but it's really, it's really, uh, honestly, in my opinion, simpler than you think it is. Um, and yeah, I also, so somebody wants to know my supplement stack, so I'll definitely do a, a video on that as well on the next uh, strength day video. But yeah, happy Thanksgiving. You guys have a great day. Aftermath plan. Let me, let me hear it one more time, girl. Come on.